Good day everyone, we are the group 9 presenting exercises number 1, problems involving circles. So as you can see, the problems that are shown are all problems relating to circles. For us to answer our equation, we must first define a circle. So what is a circle? A circle is all points in a plane that are a fixed distance from a given point in the plane. The given point is called the center or HK and the fixed distance is called the radius or R of the circle. Now that we have learned what is a circle, let us now answer our given problem. Problem number 1. Find the equation of the circle whose center is at 5, negative 2, the midpoint of the segment joining the center and one of the points on the circle is negative 2, 1. The center is at 5, negative 2, so we are going to use the standard equation which is quantity of x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square. So one of the points on the circle is negative 2, 1. So using the midpoint formula, we can say that 5 plus x of 1 over 2 is equal to negative 2, then simplify. 5 plus x of 1 is equal to negative 2 multiplied by 2, then x of 1 is equal to negative 4 minus 5. Therefore, our x of 1 is equal to negative 9. Then next, we need to find our y of 1. Negative 2 plus y of 1 over 2 is equal to 1. Simplify. Negative 2 plus y of 1 is equal to 1 multiplied by 2. Then y of 1 is equal to 2 plus 2. Then our y of 1 is equal to 4. Then our x of 1 and our y of 1 is equal to negative 9 and 4. After that, we need to use the distance formula. So this sums is equal to the square root of quantity x of 2 minus x of 1 squared plus quantity of y of 2 minus y of 1 squared. Now let us input our given values. So this sums is equal to the square root of 5 plus 9 squared plus negative 2 minus 4 squared. Then this sums is equal to the square root of 14 squared plus negative 6 squared. After that, this sums is equal to the square root of 196 plus 36 so for our final answer is 2 square root of 58 now that we have our values in order to get the equation of the circle we need to use the standard equation quantity of x minus h squared plus quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared now substitute quantity of x minus 5 squared plus quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 2 square root of 58 squared. Now simplify. Quantity of x minus 5 squared plus quantity of y plus 2 is equal to 232. The equation of the circle is quantity of x minus 5 squared plus quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 232. Now let us move on to our problem number 2. So for our problem number 2, a single lane street 10 feet wide goes through a semicircular tunnel with a radius of 9 feet. How high is the tunnel at the edge of each lane round off to two decimal places? The radius is equal to 9 feet. And let us say our center is at 0, 0. So the equation that we are going to use for the tunnel is x square plus y square is equal to r square. So our radius is equal to 9 square. Then let us divide 10 by 2 to get the value of x. So r square is equal to 9 square and x is equal to 5 square. Lastly, let us solve for y to get the height of the tunnel. 5 square plus y square is equal to 9 square. Now let us solve the squares. So it will be 25 plus y square equals 81. Now transpose 25 to the right side to solve for y squared. So it will look like this y square is equal to 81 minus 25 and let us now compute our constants y square is equal to 56 lastly let us put a square root on both sides to cancel the exponent for y so it will be square root of y square is equal to square root of 56 so our final answer is 7.48 feet therefore the height of the tunnel is at each edge is 7.48 feet now let us answer our final problem Problem number 3. A ferris wheel is elevated 1 meter above the ground. When a car reaches the highest point of the ferris wheel, its altitude from the ground level is 31 meters. 
How far away from the center horizontally is the car when it is an altitude of 24 meters? So our height 1 is 1 meter, height 2 is 31 meter, and height 3 is 24 meters. Now let us solve for our diameter. So D is equal to H2 minus H1. Therefore D is equal to 31 minus 1 and our diameter is equal to 30. Then for our radius is R is equal to D divided by 2. So R is equal to 30 divided by 2. Therefore our radius is equal to 15 meters. Now let us solve for the lowest point of the first wheel of height 2 minus height 1 is equal to 24 minus 1 is equal to 23 meters. Now, let us find the vertical distance of the Ferris wheel at height 2 from the center. So, 23 meters minus 15 meters is equal to 8 meters. Lastly, to find our final answer, let us use the Pentagorean theorem. A square plus B square is equal to C square. And let us substitute that for a square plus b square is equal to r square. Now solve the squares. After that, let us transpose. So it will be x square is equal to 25 minus 64. And let us put a square root on both sides to cancel the exponent for x. So it will be square root of x square is equal to square root of 161. So our final answer is x is equal to 12.69 meters. And thank you for watching, I hope you have learned something from our video.